Erica. Okay, what's up YouTube? My name is Terry. Um, I'm going to, uh, I've been thinking about doing a YouTube channel for a while. Actually, I wanted to do a podcast. I listen to a lot of podcasts, but um, um, I thought maybe I'd do a YouTube channel. My wife's, I own a tow, tow truck company here in Northern Idaho, uh, but my wife says also I like to do is train and work out and um, uh, enjoy spirits. I drink beer and, and whiskey every once in a while. So I thought I'd make a YouTube channel um, involving those two things and then maybe a little bit of daily life and maybe some uh, towing stuff as well. I, I don't really know. I don't have a good idea what I'm going to do yet, but I thought for the first video, I would introduce you to a place where I spend a lot of my time, um, and that is in my garage gym here. Um, I know there's a lot of garage gym channels out there, and I've been watching a lot of them, and they've been inspiring me. Um, and so this is really sort of uh, an homage to, to those people who have come before me and, and made the channels and who inspired me to uh, build my uh, home gym. Um, a little bit of background. Um, uh, all the gyms here uh, closed down around, um, I want to say, in uh, middle mid-March. And so I was left with no way to work out, which I really enjoy uh, doing. Um, I spent a lot of my time, I spent a lot of my time in the gym. Um, I spent a lot of my time in uh, jiu-jitsu. Um, I'm not very good at jiu-jitsu, but I like to do it. I like to train. I really like to box. I like to do stand-up. Um, I spent a lot of my years uh, uh, just training for fun. I mean, I like to do it. So when the gyms closed down in North Idaho, um, I was kind of uh, left at, at, you know, I, I just kind of in the wind, I didn't have anything to do. So I immediately uh, started going online. Um, I actually joined a Reddit group. Um, there's a Reddit group that is all about uh, garage gyms and stuff like that. So I got on there and I got some ideas. Um, the first things, well, I've always had kettlebells, so I'll show you my kettlebells here. So the first thing I, I spent, uh, many years in China. When I was in China, I had a full set of kettlebells. I had two kettlebells all the way from uh, four kilograms up to, I want to say, 32 kilograms. Um, so when I came back, um, I first got these uh, Lifeline kettlebells here. Um, really, uh, really nice kettlebells. These are actually my favorite ones I've ever had. I really like the grip on them. Um, I like the, um, I think it's, I don't know if it's, uh, I'm not sure what it is. It's, um, what kind of coating is on there, but it's, it's really good. It's, it's super grippy. You don't need a lot of chalk to use them. Um, so I've had these for about 10 years. I have one, two, and three kettlebells, right? So um, I, I really like these. I, if I could have one uh, piece of equipment in my home gym, I would, I would, I would say kettlebells just because um, it's so, they're so useful. You can do anything with them. You can do um, combination movements. You can do, I mean, you can do curls, you can do triceps, you can do squats, um, anything with them. Um, they're, they're super versatile and I really like them. Um, later on, I have added, uh, I've added the, the rogue kettlebells and I got these because these, oh, the lifelines are made in America, which I, I really like. Um, I, you know, I spent a lot of time in China. I really, I really like to support made in America stuff as much as I can, as long as the quality is there. Um, and so, I will go through and do a whole, uh, you know, at some point a review on all the equipment I have and kind of my thoughts on it. Um, but so I've got these kettlebells here, and then I immediately went and bought these horse mats um, at, at Tractor Supply here. Um, I bought these horse mats, and I made an area for, um, you know, my working out. I feel it's really important when you have a home gym, you want to have a specific area that when you walk into it, you know, tells you you're ready to work, um, and that's why. Um, I have, I have the mats, and then I, I painted these walls black. Um, I got the flags up there. I've got my, my gym logo up there, established 2020. Um, and then I got this it's black over here. This is, this is my area where, you know, I come to, to work out. So, um, see this right here? I fit my car. I got a golf bar and I fit my car right in here. Backs right up to it. It's really, really cool. Um, I really made this place efficient. So I got, I got this. I bought a, a cheap three, $300 used bench and weights and bar um, from a guy uh, I know who owns a local restaurant here and he hooked me up on a deal. And then I have these weights down here. Some of these weights came with them and then a buddy of mine lent me uh, two heavier dumbbells and uh, hooked me up and so that was really nice. Um, and then I got, a, I got a punching bag, I got a rolling dummy, um, I got this for free at the beginning, um, and then I bought a, a mat, which I could roll out right here when I want to like do uh, exercises for jiu-jitsu or I want to stretch out or anything like that. So this is kind of my home gym. Um, like I said, I'll give you a, a quick tour. I've got all my belts. 
Um, I guess there's some really cool stories behind this stuff. Like this is a belt that someone made for me that you could probably literally pull a car with. Um, it's all made out of tow, like tow truck materials. Um, and so I, I, I needed a belt for, for weighted dips and weighted um, pull ups. And I didn't want to spend, you know, 50, 60, 100 bucks for one on, on the internet. So I went to a, a local place here and I got hooked up and this cost me like 25 bucks. Um, and it's much better quality than anything else you're gonna find. Um, so this is, you know, this is kind of my miscellaneous section. My my knee sleeves when I need them, my gloves, uh, pull-up bands, my massagers, uh, yoga mat. Here is my um, kettlebells, my dip station, my rope dip station. Um, I got rep um, dumbbells and, and uh, dumbbell rack, which are, I really like these. Um, I got five through fifty. Then again, I got a homemade platform which I made. Um, I think I made this platform, I want to say, like maybe just over, just right around 100 bucks uh, to make your own platform. Um, and, and now to make the same platform, it cost me probably about 200 bucks because um, material has gone up so much in this area we're at right now. I've got a cheap, but not cheap, Amazon uh, adjustable bench. Um, I've got, you know, I've got an American barbell barbell, which is super awesome. I got the VFPS um, safety squat yoke, and I got a rogue uh, bella bar up there. That's my son's when he works out with me in the summer. I got straps, punching bag again. Um, and then this is my newest piece of equipment here. It's the Elite FTS um, uh, leg extension leg curl machine. And um, I don't know, I'll, like I said, later on I'll do an in-depth review of all this stuff. I just wanted to kind of get this out there. Um, you know, I, this again, this is twofold, um, you know, uh, we're working on is kind of what I'm passionate about, so you know maybe I can make a YouTube video of, of that, and then maybe at nights I'll make uh, I'll buy different whiskeys and, and, and get a buddy and, and drink and, and share my thoughts on the whiskeys or different beers or different ciders, um, things like that. You know what I mean? Um, and then and, and then again, I you know I'll show you around our area. And then two is sort of my wife wants to do a YouTube channel as well, and um, she's kind of stuck. She's having writer's block, so to say. So I thought I would come out here, uh, kind of do an impromptu video show her, uh, you know, you don't need to be, you know, it doesn't need to be that, uh, doesn't need to be that formal, just kind of say what you're thinking and, um, you know, put it out there and, you know, if you guys like it, uh, great, comment, if you don't like it, um, you know, keep your opinions to yourself, you know, no, that's fine, uh, you know, let me know what I can do better um, and I will, uh, I'll try to improve uh, for you guys, but anyway, that's my first video, um, I don't know what the name of the channel is going to be yet. Um, figure that out later and I'll, once I put this up I'll have the name of my video uh, my YouTube channel uh, in there um, and so uh, thank you